Hey guys, and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today I want to look at five coins that every Australian coin collector should aspire to own. Uh, whether you own them right now or whether you're uh, partway through this list, I reckon these are five coins that every Australian coin collector at some stage needs to own. Okay, so we're starting off with the uh, 2012 Red Poppy. Uh, I think it's a pretty obvious choice. It's, uh, it's one that is low mintage. It's actually a high value coin now. Uh, it's a $2 coin, which everybody loves. And uh, it's a colored coin. So there's many reasons to actually uh, keep and hold this coin. Who knows what value is gonna do in the future? This, this thing has blown up in price over the past five years. I remember when I started collecting, I think I've shared this before, uh, many of the Facebook selling sites and eBay we're selling these coins for around $7.50 each. And we're only talking literally a few years ago. And uh, these things have skyrocketed in price. And uh, so what we'll have a look at is we'll go through each of the five coins. We'll have a look at uh, just some of the, uh, what the offerings are at the moment. And we'll also just have a look at some recent sales. And it's good to do this. And we can look back on the videos in the future and just go, ah, I remember back in, uh, what is it, the end of January, uh, 2020 and the price was 100 120 150 dollars each and now they're 500 dollars each you know like it'll be interesting to look back on these videos in the future so there's lots of uh graded coins there obviously the price is varying and uh there's one there on auction still currently at 67 dollars but uh these things uh, commanding a high price low mintage of just 500,000 so there is not many around but the reason why it's it's made my list today and and other coins haven't made my list is because there is plenty of these and there is technically uh, there, there certainly wouldn't be uh, 500,000 coin collectors in Australia so there is a chance that everyone who is who calls himself a coin collector could potentially own one of these coins okay so yes you will have to spend a fair bit of money you're not likely to find one of these in circulation i know that they do pop up in circulation they're usually fairly worn but occasionally you do find a absolutely beautiful one in uncirculated condition but it's unlikely so more than likely you're going to have to buy one of these coins all right, so let's just have a quick little look at a couple of these. So this one here is fairly special, which is a PNC, okay? So this is actually a C Mint Mark coin. So there was 20,000 of those that were put into, uh, well, offering from Australia Post. And it's a C Mint Marked version. You can see the little C inside one of the little flowers to the right-hand side of the coin. And that is a C Mint Marked version. There was 40,000 C Mint Marked coins okay so i'm assuming and this is what i need to confirm at some stage there was twenty thousand of these ones does that mean that there was twenty thousand of the carded version or is there sixty thousand c mint marked coins and there is i'll try and find one of them uh well yeah here's one is there forty thousand of these ones in the cards so Actually, we might be able to... Uh, this is unlimited. So maybe there wasn't 40,000. So that was just a, a rough guess based on what there has been uh, after that when we've come across C-Mint marked version coins. So, yeah, I don't know how many of them there actually are with a C-Mint mark, but those things have also rocketed up in price uh, along with the uh, standard circulating version. All right, let's have a look at some sold pricing. So here we go, the first one straight up. It's on a card and that sold for $120. And then we have the Poppy, the cement marked version, which sold recently for $192. Uh, there's some damaged ones. These are more likely the ones that you would find in circulation if you were to find some. And you can see there what goes on there, all the paint chips off. That does affect price. Okay, it really hits the price fairly hard. 
you can see there if you average those four out we're just over uh, 55 60 dollars a piece uh, so it does knock the price really by half uh, plenty of graded ones all depending they're both uh, that's a 65 and a 66 both virtually the same sort of price a 64 there so that that's a big uh, price reduction there for a 64 ms 64 so grading scale goes all the way up to ms 70 and you can see there the price differences you got one bid uh, versus 37 bids uh, for a 65 and 31 bids for a 66. All right, let's jump onto the next coin. We're spending too much time on this coin. So I've chucked in the 2013, uh, what is this? The Coronation. So the purple $2 coin. Okay, so these things certainly haven't uh, gone up in price the way that the red poppy has but they're starting to move i'm really starting to notice some price changing there's a million of these guys so there is definitely uh, one or two for each of us uh, or maybe more so these things here you can see there's a few different price offerings here uh, this one here is the semi marked version of the purple coin so you can see they're 202 dollars and 50 cents uh, we're still two days to go on that auction and let's have a look what else is a uncirculated one so that's actually got a bid on it for 50 bucks so uh, they are certainly starting to move up in price uh, not too long ago you could certainly pick those things up for 25 dollars in uncirculated condition so let's have a look at some recent sales on those guys uh, so there is one for $20. There's a 1750. I am assuming they're circulated versions. Okay, here's a couple of uncirculated ones that have sold. And they sold for $50 plus postage. Wow, here's a uh, cement marked version on the card. Those things are selling for a higher price than the, uh, than the poppy on the card. So $350 for that one there. Another twenty dollars. Okay, here's a graded coin MS sixty six for two hundred and ten. Is that a? Yeah, it is. That's a coronation. So they're certainly going up in price, uh, and they're, yeah, they're really starting to move. So get a hold of one of those guys. Who knows? They could be the next uh, coin that uh, reaches a hundred dollars. And this one's a little bit unusual, and, and I haven't really spoken about this coin much, actually. This is the 1937 uh, crown, and uh, this is a silver coin, uh, I believe 90% silver. I probably should, 92.5% uh, silver, there we go, someone's written it in their title. These things here vary in price greatly, uh, anywhere from, say, $30 and up is from what I have seen and when I say everyone should try and own one I actually don't own one of these and it is something I'm going to buy very very soon uh, because I do want to bring it to the channel and we'll have a closer look at it then but this is one of those ones there's a 37 and a 38 the 37 has a, a million and I think the 38 has only uh, 100,000 so that's why I didn't put it on the list today but the 38 you, you do pay a lot more for all right so let's look at a few sales on this one you can see there $40 uh, you do need to make sure that what you're buying is a legitimate coin and there are ways to tell whether or not it is real and uh, we might go through that at another stage so let's just focus on price and and uh, and sold prices right now so you can see they're they're not too bad a price okay it's a big coin guys it's a really big coin and it's nice and heavy and it's got a fair bit of silver in it so these things probably fluctuate more so uh based on the price of silver okay so well worth getting yourself a 1937 australian crown all right the next one this one here i've spoken about many times on the channel and uh it is the 2016 $1 changeover coin 
these have a mintage of I think 560,000 somewhere around that so these are a very low mintage coin and these are really starting to move in price as well and well worth getting a hold of now if you can't find one in circulation so uh, what are we looking at the, when you type in changeover coin and one dollar you get a good mixture of almost every other changeover coin but we'll try and pick through that as we go uh, where is just some changeover coins uh, there is a slabbed version, so a graded MS65 for $160. And MS66 for $120, that's probably a good buy right there. There's uh, yep, one coin, there. oh, two, maybe they're selling two. So let's try and find a one coin sale. There's not too many single coin offerings, uh, as we can see. Here's some uncirculated ones. They've sold 93 of them at uh, $30 a piece. So these are certainly starting to move. Here's the 10 coin bag. This is interesting. These guys have really rocketed up. I know I shared. Uh, well, here's another one. I I uh, I let someone. I think it was Tyler. I shared it with Tyler one day. Tyler Barnfield. I. Uh, I let him know about one that was going cheap and he managed to pick one up not that long ago probably within within a year i reckon uh and that was around eight that was 89 dollars from memory and uh now look at what they're going for and this is still got four days left and it's 187.50 here's one uh which someone's put on for 380 dollars i don't know if they're that high yet but uh 295 so those little bags of 10 coins they are really starting to move sold figures okay so there is that's a 20 cent coin and here is an almost uncirculated for 15 dollars so one that's just been found in circulation the rolls are really rocketing up in price uh, not so long ago you could pick them up for 200 dollars, and now they're well over 400 and they will continue to climb i, I reckon that these guys will be 600 in no time and and uh within a couple of years they'll be a thousand dollars a roll uh, is my thoughts and uh, we'll certainly check back and we'll, we'll certainly follow it on the channel uh, There's a couple more that have sold for that 24 23 dollar mark uncirculated. So Yeah, pretty special coin really and really if you compare it to the poppy I know the poppy is the poppy and it's a two dollar coin and that makes it more special, but the mintages are almost the same so at some stage people are gonna wake up and go hold on this is a special coin we need to own and a lot of you uh, will hopefully hold them and own them uh, and value will go up because that's part of coin collecting we want to uh, hopefully get a return for the coins that we collect as long as as well as we like looking at them and holding them uh, we also like the investment value let's move on guys the 1966 round 50 cent coin uh, very plentiful many of them about and uh, fairly cheap okay so uh, these are all looks like bulk buys a lot of them but uh, you can see there basically I think some of these pricing here is probably a little bit high this I've selected to uh, look at ending soonest but you'll certainly find uh, coins like this for around $10 each so look out for them but it's an iconic coin 80% silver and a must-have uh, I think that will probably be confirmed here so bulk yeah, 10 of them for $91 so here's a $10 offering right there that's been sold so certainly 8 to $10 is probably the, the, the good price right now and uh, well worth grabbing one now if money is not an issue I've got two more coins it's not ridiculous dollars but if money's not an issue here's maybe something that uh, you may want to try and add to your collection one day and that is and this is a coin that i don't have i i want to buy one of these i'd love to own one i don't own one and i haven't picked a specific date i'm just purely talking about the sovereign the gold sovereign okay so these things fluctuate a lot in price many different years to choose from 
and uh, there is some value differences but depending on the year but uh, pr primarily the price is guided by the gold bullion price um, they do probably you, you do pay a premium because it is a coin but the price fluctuates in that way uh, but well worth uh, trying to get a hold of yes I'm certainly going to try and get myself one uh, maybe in this next year is what I would love to be able to just I just want to hold one and own one and, and know that I have some uh, uh, a piece of history and uh, I don't even care what year it is I don't even actually mind if it's a half sovereign uh, there is such a thing and they are cheaper but uh, there is a full sovereign which is a larger more heavier coin and has a, a higher gold content and uh, if you can afford to grab one grab one and uh, these things have certainly gone up in value over the time that I've been collecting coins. Now one other coin, just really special, uh, which I've never spoken about on the channel before. We're just going to look at one ad for this coin. Okay, so, and there's a bit of reading down the bottom, so we'll try and get, that, get through that quickly. So this is a 1967 uh, Australian Swan Dollar or Goose Dollar is probably what it's more referred to. Certainly I know it as a Goose Dollar and uh, I think it looks more like a goose. So let's have a look at that. There is uh, some images right there of the goose. I assume it's a goose. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, there's a bit of, there's a bit of reading to do down the bottom there. I think we'll get into that and that'll, it really helps. Uh, it helped me to understand more about that particular coin. So it says here in 1967, a goose dollar is not an official issue, although it does hold an important part of Australian num numismatic history. The Swan Patton dollar has such a swan, it's not a goose. The Swan Patton dollar has been nicknamed the goose dollar, okay, there we go, by collectors and has risen in popularity in the past few years. When decimal currency, currency was to be introduced in 1966, collectors were surprised to learn that a one dollar coin would not be included in the new issues. So in 1965, the Australian Coin Review magazine ran a competition and the winning entry submitted to the Australian government. When this coin was rejected by the authorities, so the Australian government, competition organisers decided to have it minted privately. In 1967, it was engraved and struck by John Pinches, medalist, uh, medalist, med yeah, medalist of London. The design um, by that bloke features a swan with... Australia 1967 on the obverse and wattle with a hundred cents printed on the reverse on the obverse one side approximately four o'clock right next to the rim of the other des designers initials which were which may be mistaken as a scuff on the coin surface so this is the interesting part here there were 1500 specimens uncirculated silver coins issued that featured a milled edge 750 proof pieces with a plain edge and 10 gold with a plain edge. The silver proof was originally available at $13.50, while the silver uncirculated examples were $10. It is believed two of the gold coins were lost in the Ash Wednesday fires in 1983, so it could be said that there are only eight in existence. So, it's a beautiful coin. It's not necessarily an Australian mint sanctioned coin but it is something quite special and and the price has rocketed up on these so three and a half grand is what this one here is offering there's only three available or maybe four uh, available on ebay currently and uh, they do um, fluctuate in price a bit too so have a look at those but uh, look that would be something that's part of our australian history even though it's technically not a dollar coin it was produced as a dollar coin so technically it's probably one of our our first dollar coins or it is our first dollar coin as such all right guys that is it for today i hope you've enjoyed this look at uh those coins and i reckon you should all try and aspire to own those five coins and uh, i'm on my way to um, to try and get my way through a few more of those coins i think i own most of them except for the 37 and oh, well, I don't own this particular one in front of us, the uh, the goose dollar, but uh, I'm going to work on getting myself a gold sovereign. All right, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already done that. And uh, leave a comment. 
if you if you reckon there's some other coins that Australian collectors should own, please leave a comment. I'd love to have your feedback on it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.